What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel, Eric the Tutor. What's up everybody? My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel, Eric the Tutor. Today, we're going to be talking about the brachial plexus, all right? So, I'm going to show you how I draw it and the best way to go about it, okay? So, let's get started. Let's go ahead and start by labeling C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. These are going to be the rami, okay? So these are coming off of the spinal nerves, right? Because we have eight spinal nerves, and then we're beginning the thoracic nerve, so this is the T1, okay? Another thing we're going to write at the top here, just to get started, is R, T, D, C, and B. Remember to drink cold beer, okay? That stands for roots, trunks, divisions, cores, and branches. Remember to drink cold beer, cords, and branches. All right, so you guys will go ahead and see what that is in just a moment. So the best way to go about it is you want to start by drawing an M. So this is going to be kind of like a sideways M, but it's going to look like an E, but I think of it as drawing an M. So let's go ahead and draw an M. just like that, okay? So there's our M. The reason for that, we'll get into detail, but when you're actually in lab, you can see this M and you can spot it really nicely. So this is gonna, this is gonna help us determine and help us find our brachial plexus, all right? Now, just before I begin, I wanna define brachial plexus a little more. I didn't go into it. So why do we even care, right? We care about the brachial plexus because it's a collection of nerve fibers that are coming off of these spinal nerves, these rami, and they're going to go out and innervate different parts of the shoulder, the, the armpits, the upper arm, and they might even travel as far as the lower limb, okay? So that's why we care about it. So let's go ahead and keep going. So we're going to draw our M. Next thing we're going to want to draw is a Y. So here is our Y just like that. We're going to want to draw another Y, just like this, okay? And then from C7, we're going to want to draw another Y. But I'll go ahead and draw the rest of that Y when we get there, okay? So this is just to orient ourselves. Now let's go ahead and start by looking at the C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1, okay? So we're going to look at the roots. The first uh, important branch that's going to be coming off of all of this, right, it is going to be our dorsal scapular. So this is going to be a branch that's coming off of the C5 of the brachial plexus. Now, what do you guys think the dorsal scapula innervates? Well, it's going to innervate a couple things. So it's going to innervate the levator scapulae. rhomboid minor and rhomboid major okay let's go ahead and keep working so also coming off of c5 c6 and c7 we have a nerve C5, C6, C7, raise your arms to heaven. C5, C6, C7, raise your arms to heaven. Why do you think I say that? This is the nerve that's going to innervate the muscle that helps us raise our arms to heaven. This is the long thoracic nerve. Okay, now what does that innervate? Which muscle helps us laterally rotate the arm and bring it above 90 degrees, so abduction, raise our arms to heaven. This is going to innervate the, let's put it over here, the serratus anterior. All right, so there's our serratus anterior. C5, C6, C7 all come together to form the long thoracic nerve, and that's going to run through the serratus anterior. Great. Another um, branch I want to talk about that's going to be coming off of so now now we reach the trunks right so these were our roots these are the rami that are coming off of the spinal nerves now we're going to get into the trunks so we're going to have a upper trunk 
a middle chunk and a lower chunk. All right, we have an upper chunk, a middle chunk, and a lower chunk. Coming off of the upper chunk of the, let's see, the upper chunk of the brachial plexus, we also have, so we have a couple things coming off, right? We have the supra scapular nerve, suprascapular nerve, which muscles do this does the scooper suprascapular nerve innervate what do you guys think the suprascapular nerve is going to innervate the supraspinatus and the infraspinatus okay so those are the muscles supraspinatus muscle and infraspinatus all right let's go ahead and see here so we covered the suprascapular nerve, we got the dorsal scapular nerve. Also coming off of the upper trunk of the brachial plexus, we have the nerve to the subclavius. Okay, in lab and lecture, we actually didn't talk about that muscle, but um, it's below the clavicle, and this nerve is actually gonna run through that muscle, okay? All right, so let's keep going. So the next drawing we're gonna put on here, right? We're gonna draw an X, all right? We're gonna draw an X, and we're also gonna draw a slash, okay? Now you'll see why in just a moment. So let me go ahead and label. Now we're in the divisions. So we have six different divisions. We have a, let's start down here. We have an anterior division anterior we have a posterior division posterior we have another posterior posterior so that's right there follow this guy up where is it heading this is also going to be called anterior Okay, that's an anterior, and then we follow this one. This one's going to be posterior division. So there's our six divisions. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and see. Ah, this one. Also anterior. Okay, anterior. So we have anterior up on top, anterior follow it down it's heading towards the posterior division so we have a posterior division here another posterior division there third posterior division coming up here and then down here we have an anterior division right so we have one two three four five and six different divisions now these divisions are going to go ahead and move forward and form chords okay so now we're going to be moving into the chords we have a posterior cord we have a lateral cord and a medial cord medial cord all of these names the lateral posterior and the medial these are all with respect to the axillary artery all right now we'll talk about the axillary artery in following videos but Basically, if we say lateral medial, we're with respect to the axillary artery that's running through, okay? All right, so let's keep moving forward. So now we got the lateral cord, we got the posterior cord, and the medial cord. All right, next little mnemonic I want to write on the board here is something called Marmu. Now you guys are probably thinking, what is Marmu? What, what does Marmu stand for? Marmu is a little mnemonic to help us remember some of the nerves. Okay, so M over here, so it's gonna stand for musculocutaneous, musculocutaneous nerve. Okay, and then down here, the A, this A stands for axillary. We have the axillary nerve. The axillary nerve actually comes off of the posterior cord let's 
see here. It runs deep, deep to the median nerve, okay? It's also deep to the axillary artery, okay? So let's all put in dot, 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 just to show that it's kind of running behind there. So it's deep and also, so this is our second Y here, right? See this division here? This is also gonna be deep. We hit the radial nerve, all right? So we got the musculocutaneous nerve, that's the M. We have the axillary nerve, the radial nerve. We hit another M. This is our median nerve, okay? And then down here, we have our ulnar nerve, ulnar nerve, okay? That's marmu, M-A-R-M-U, okay? Musculocutaneous, axillary nerve, radial nerve, median nerve, and ulnar nerve, okay? So this is how we orient ourselves with the brachial plexus. Now, when you see this in lab, what I recommend is we are very familiar with the musculocutaneous nerve. Why are we familiar with the musculocutaneous nerve? Well, if you remember, the musculocutaneous nerve pierces through the coracobrachialis. So I think that would be, we got really familiar finding that muscle and we could find that nerve that goes right through it. So if you just trace that nerve all the way back up, you'll trace it back up and you'll begin to see this M formation. It's really amazing. So I like to find my musculocutaneous nerve, which is on the medial, it's on the medial shaft of our humerus. It pierces through the coracobrachialis, which we know attaches to the medial shaft of the humerus, and uh, in its origin is in the coracoid process. So we could follow that musculocutaneous nerve, and then we know we can orient ourselves, right? We're at the very end of our brachial plexus. We could find our musculocutaneous, come back up. Now I know exactly where my median nerve is. My median nerve comes off of the tip of my M there. So I know where my median nerve is. I know deep to my median nerve, I have my axillary nerve and my radial nerve right? So that covers four there. And then I go back down and trace the rest of the U. This is going to be very lateral, very lateral. Okay. Let's see here. So this is going to be our ulnar nerve. So you can trace it all the way back, right? We said the musculocutaneous is more in the medial side. It's more in the medial side and uh, the medial side with respect to the body, right? So I say lateral here, but this lateral is with respect to the axillary artery. I'm talking about just with respect to the plane of the body, right? So the musculocutaneous nerve is very medial and ulnar nerve is gonna run very lateral, okay? So uh, last thing I wanna say here is coming off of the lateral cord, we're gonna have another branch. This is the lateral pectoral nerve. Okay, lateral pectoral nerve. What do you guys think innervates the lateral? What what the in, the lateral lateral pectoral nerve innervates which muscle? What do you guys think? It's going to be the pectoralis major, right? So it's going to be the pectoralis major. Um, we know that the pectoralis major is innervated by both the lateral pectoral nerve and the medial pectoral nerve, but the pectoralis minor is only innervated by the by the what do you guys think? By the median nerve. Okay, by the median, medial pectoral nerve, all right? Another couple branches that are really important here. So we got M, I'll put my little mnemonic down here. We've got M, MBC, MABC, excuse me. This is gonna go down here on the medial nerve. Let's go ahead and erase this. All right. Okay, down here on the medial side, we have M, M, B, C, M, A, B, C. Now, what do you guys think that stands for? So this is gonna be medial pectoral, medial pectoral nerve. This M, B, C, is gonna stand for medial brachial cutaneous nerve. Medial brachial cutaneous nerve. So I'll write it down here. This is this guy. This is my medial brachial 
cutaneous nerve, okay? And then this one, do it in blue. This is my medial antebrachial, antebrachial cutaneous nerve, okay? So we got M, MBC, MABC, right? M, MBC, MABC. Medial pectoral nerve, medial brachial cutaneous nerve, medial antebrachial cutaneous nerve, okay? Now, coming off the posterior cord, we have stars. So this is my mnemonic. We have stars coming off of the posterior cord. You're gonna want to remember stars, all right? So star stands for, this A is gonna be our axillary nerve. Notice, coming off of the posterior cord. This R is gonna stand for the radial nerve, also coming off of the posterior cord. Now, for the S and the T and the S, those are gonna be our lower, middle, and upper uh, subscapular nerves, okay? So, how does that stand for S, T, and S, right? This S is gonna stand for superior. This T in here is going to be our middle subscapular nerve, but we also know a different name for the middle subscapular nerve is thoracodorsal. Thoracodorsal. That's where the T comes from in our STARS mnemonic. Last thing here is this S. We can go ahead and say is our lower subscapular nerve subscapular nerve, right? So this S just happens to be standing for our subscapular. We know that this S, this T, and this S are all gonna be subscapular nerves, but to differentiate between the lower and the middle and, and the upper or the superior, we can use a STARS mnemonic, all right? So that's gonna be everything for it today, guys. Um, we talked about the brachial plexus. These are the main branches coming off of the different cords. Uh, we have nothing coming off of the divisions. That's something to point out, right? So we got six divisions, but no branches coming off of the divisions. We have some stuff coming off the cords. Um, obviously, here at the end, we definitely have a lot of nerves. And then we also have branches coming off of the trunks, right? We got some stuff coming off of our upper trunk. And then off of our roots, our rami, we can see that we have more branches coming off. We got the dorsal scapular and the long thoracic nerve, okay? That's it, guys. Have fun, make sure to draw your M, spot it in lab, draw your Y's here, draw your X and your slash, and you guys are good to go. Just practice it a couple times and you guys will be great. All right, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.